What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Brendan, and I'm BMX45, and we're coming at you with another video. We have our card overview for the Digimon TCG uh, for the special booster version 2.0, which is BT18, BT19. We're going to go through this. We're going to talk about some of the cards we're interested in, we'll look at some of the card effects, look at what we're getting in this set. We're going to kind of make a comparison uh, to the OCG site because we are going to have all of BT18 and BT19 here. And the cool thing is we do have the card list already dropped on the site uh, for the uh, Digimon TCG. So we don't have to go through the OCG stuff. So you can see here we have the English version. So it looks like they are going to be planning to drop this stuff a little bit earlier now that uh, it's not already on the OCG website. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to go through, we're going to talk about the cards. And uh, I have totally not realized that pre-release is just literally a week away like it's going to be next week we're starting pre-release um, because the set drops in early november so yeah no it's it's you know <laughs> pre-release will be next week uh into the following week as october ends so it's actually a lot closer than i thought it was going to be so we're gonna have to do that deck excitement video real soon because i usually do it about a week uh before the, the set drops but uh I think time has got away from me. I thought I think I ha I thought I had like an, at least another week, but I, I don't. So I'm gonna have to be, drop the deck excitement list quite close to this. But uh, let's get into it. And hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. All right, so we got it here. We have the new Guillaumon uh, special sign card by Ken Kenji Watanabe, uh, which is gonna be really cool. Uh, I don't know. Like I'm trying to like figure out like how of a low pull rate this is they didn't really say how if it was a low pull rate um but we also have our, our digi eggs here we have our um demi mara chatmon wanyamon we have the new uh Peroamon, which is going to be for the um the royal base deck which has the uh, start of main by placing one digimon card with the royal brace trait from your hand face up as the bottom security card at the top card security card to your hand um, so this is kind of interesting this is kind of the first time we're seeing face up security cards um, which is kind of a decent cool ability i guess um, so it's kind of cool starter main phase is always nice abilities on digi eggs um, and then uh, that's pretty much it for that uh, looks like all uncommon still like uh, so we're going to see those as pre-release cards um, Getting into some of the other stuff, we have a new Agunimon, a new Bokemon, Red Bokemon. Reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Hybrid or Ten Warriors trait, uh, and one Red Tamer with Inherited effects among them to your hand. Uh, return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Your turn once. Return one of your Digimon or Tamers Digivolve into a Digimon with the Hybrid or Ten Warriors trait. Gain a memory. So kind of like the old Bokemon, but a little bit different, and it's Red specific. So. Um, and then a Goonimon, um, cost, it's going to be a high cost evolution on a Digimon, but low cost on Takuya or Burning Greymon, um, Digimon is zero from Burning Greymon, uh, it, when it, you may return one card with hybrid or 10 warriors trait, sorry, you may return one card with the hybrid or 10 warriors trait, or one tamer card with inherited effects, uh, from your trash to your hand. That's pretty good. Adding stuff for, yeah, is always good. Uh, plus 2,000 inheritable. Pretty simple. Nothing special there, I really think. Uh, getting a new Grumblemon. Um, and Gigasmon. I think, that, I don't know if this, I think we got another Gigasmon, but yeah, this will, so this will be our second set. Um, and then, of course, you're getting all the ancient cards. Uh, you're getting the new Emperor here. Uh, this is something we're interested in for hybrid, of course. Uh, five costage evolution, a triple color card, um, and it's Digivolve to Kuya Kambara with five hybrid trait cards under cost five. So same thing, you can Digivolve for five on a Takuya. Um, basically, the warp Takuya could do this, uh, and then when Digivolving for each color in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Trash any one uh, Digivolution card from your opponent's Digimon and suspend one of their Digimon, then this Digimon may attack. So it's got kind of pseudo blitz uh, in the when Digivolving. Um, I love how like hybrids are 
it's because it's got blue and it, it's trashing. Um, uh, and then your turn once per turn when this Digimon deletes your opponent's Digimon by battle, it gains security attack plus one for the turn and unsuspends. That's pretty cool. And uh, and if you got the piercing Takuya under it, it's even better. So it's kind of cool, but it's expensive. It's expensive. So we'll see what's going on with that later on. Um, we got the Millennium Mon stuff. Um, we won't go into that. We got Kumamon. You can see there we got the alt too. Um, so we got the new Kumamon stuff. When Digital Link trash the bottom two Digilution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon, it's going to be a Digital from a, a Tommy for two, Cory Kakamon for zero. So you can't just Digital from any any Tamer either too when you're looking. And then when attacking one of your Digimon or Tamers, may Digivolve into a blue or red Digimon card with the hybrid trait in your hand with the Digivolution cost reduced by one. So just kind of like, uh, kind of like Burning Greymon and, and Kendo from last set. Uh, and then all turns inheritable. When this Digimon would leave the battle area other than my effects, you may play one Tamer card with inherited effects from this Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. That's really cool. That's actually really cool. And it's got the red and you got Cory Kakumon inheritable jamming jamming on him same thing Tommy well digital's from a Tommy for three but four cost evolution for a level four uh if you have to put him put him in the back and then Kumamon cost one uh, pretty good and then on play until the end of your opponent's turn one of their Digimon with no digital cards can't suspend so that's pretty cool too so lots of cool and then you get a new Lanamon Kalmarimon, um, Ancient Mermamon, Ancient Megatherimon, um, that big goat. <laughs> uh, getting a new Pokemon for for yellow. On play, reveal top three cards of your deck. Add one card with hybrid, ten warriors trait, and one yellow tamer. With inherited effects among them to your hand. Return the rest of the bottom of the deck. And then basically same thing. Ba basically a yellow version of the Pokemon. Um, although you get the memory when your tamers with inherited effects are played. Whereas I think Pokemon was when you digivolve. Um, you get the Patamon and it comes as a box topper too. Um, if your breeding area is empty by returning one Digimon card uh, with three great angels trait from your trash to the bottom of the deck, play this Digimon into the breeding area without paying the cost. Um, so... Yeah, and that's dirt from your hand. Um, that's kind of interesting. Three Gate Angels support. You got the new Lucimon, um, which can digivolve from a Cupimon for cost five. Uh, start of main on play by trashing one card uh, in your hand. Your opponent may trash their top security card. Um, If this card didn't trash, recovery plus one. End of your turn once per turn by placing one of your level six Digimon as the top security card. This Digimon may Digivolve into Lucimon Chaos Mode in your trash uh, without paying the cost. So, yep, same thing. Kind of does similar to the EX, EX61. So now we have eight copies of that in a deck. Um, we have a lot of other stuff. Of course, it's got an alt. Got more, uh, some more stuff. You got a Lobomon, lo new Lobomon. Uh, it's going to be uh, search your security stack. You may add one card with a hybrid 10 warriors trade among them to your hand. Uh, if added, recovery plus one, then shuffle your security stack. Uh, and then when attacking, so if you have center, if you draw one, so that's the kind of same inheritable. Same with inheritables is kind of last set for these for these Lobo and, and, uh, and Aguni mods but new kind of abilities that kind of allows you to get cards from either your security or your trash. So, yeah, interesting. Uh, got Dinosmon Ace, one of our new Ace cards. Uh, it's got Raid, on play when digivolving and when attacking. By trashing the top security card, one of your post Digimon gets minus 6,000 DP until the end of the turn. Uh, we have three or four security cards. This Digimon gains blocker and gets plus 4,000 DP. That's kind of nuts. 
Uh, you got the new Magna Guru room on. Uh, it's similar to the other ones. It's going to be cost five um, from a Koji with five cards under it or from a level five. Uh, when digivolving end of opponent's turn once per turn by placing one Digimon card from this Digimon's Digivolution cards as the bottom security card. Uh, delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the same level as the placed card. Uh, all turns once per turn when this Digimon attack or when Digimon attack um, by adding the top security card. Um, yeah, by adding your top security card to the hand, this Digimon on suspends. That's kind of cool. Gets multiple attacks. Uh, and then, and it's when Digimon attacks, so you can unsuspend them on your opponent's turn uh, to keep them from being run over. Um, unless they have a way to run over, uh, you know, suspended or unsuspended Digimon or re unsuspend him. Um, so that's kind of cool. But uh, also, the, the thing that's cool is, um, yeah, you set up your, your hybrid with uh koji with B bt7 koji so you can potentially um <clears throat> set up knowing what your opponent on board set up your trash so you can basically send back their you know delete uh their whatever they have on the board so that's kind of cool uh you got the fun bmon stuff um not gonna get too much into that A new kazimon again Red, green for this stuff. Um, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, one of your Digimon or Tamers may Digivolve into a green or red Digimon card with the hybrid trait or the hand with digital and cost reduced by one. So basically same as Kumamon. Um, basically same basically same thing as Kumamon, but for, uh, for green, red. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, and then you have this as piercing instead of jamming. So again, similar. Um, so it just depends which cards you're going to want to play in in the in the different decks. Uh, like, is this going to be, you know, because we got so this is a yellow, purple, black deck. So you're going to play the Lobomon support. Um, you're probably not going to play the Kumamon or the Kazumon support. Those will be better for the red hybrid version. Um, we just got new pedal drummons. Lots of stuff. You got the okay, there's here we have the Beetlemon. This is the stuff that you're probably gonna want to play in the uh, Magna build. Because it's got yellow black. Um, it has the same effects kind of thing as you got the uh, when it would leave the field, you can play a tamer from its sources, uh, uh, and then and then you have the when digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn. This Digimon can't be deleted by their effects. That's pretty cool. Uh, Digivolves from JP for two, metal for zero. Uh, and then when attacking one of your Digimon, yeah, may Digivolve reduce cost by one. And then if you look over at, uh, where's the other guy? What happened to uh, the other guy? Mercur Mercury Monster, Offimon. I'm trying to look for the, not Beelmon, but uh, Metal Kabuterimon. Over, there we go, there he is. Uh, and he's got the blocker, inheritable blocker, and D Digivolve 1. So that's. <clears throat> and then, and then, <laughs> um, uh, Ancient Beelmon, we got the Machine Drummon stuff. Um, low Emon, you got new low Emons, um, which will be good again for the same deck. Um, it's got diff different effects. I, I'm, I'm wondering if the low, low Emon slash Valgramon and, and uh, Dark Duskmon will be its own deck. Um, Digital is two from a Ko Koji, zero from Kaiser. Uh, draw one, trash one card in your hand uh, when attacking one of your Digimon or Tamers. May Digivolve into a purple yellow Digimon card with a hybrid trait in your trash. So let's see Digivolve from the trash. Um, same inheritable. Same inheritable. Uh, but we don't get an Alter Low Emon. That's kind of sad. Or a Kaiser Inheritable Retaliation. Um, and then on play when Digivolving, delete your one of your opponent's level 4 lower Digimon. 
and then we get into the Duskmon stuff. So Koji, Koji again, or Ko- Koichi again um, for two, Valgrimon for one. Uh, on play when digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn, change uh, the original color of one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers to one non-white color. When attacking one of your Digimon or Tamers, uh, may digivolve into a level four card with the hybrid trait. And it's trash with a dilution cost reduced by one. So he does do the reduced stuff. Um, and then you may, on deletion, you may play a Tamer card with the play cost four from the trash without paying the cost. Similar, a little bit different. Um, and then, of course, you got Alt of him. And then Velgramon, too, uh, is going to be the other one. Got Reter- Inheritable Retaliation again. Um, and then on play, when digitaling for each color. Of your opponent's Digimon and so for each color your opponent's Digimon and Tamers have trash one card from the top of both players decks uh, then for each card that's effect trash this Digimon gets plus 1000 for the turn and then end of attack by deleting uh, one of your level 4 lower purple Digimon delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level and that's by deleting one level four because if your opponent, if you change your opponent's colors with the other guy to purple, um, and then delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level, so you can do that yourself. So that's that's actually kind of cool. Um, then you got the Lucimon Chaos Mode, the new Chaos Mode, uh, which is going to be Digivolve from. Lucimon for a cost six, uh, or free if you use the Lucimon abilities. On play when digivolving, your, your opponent may delete one of their Digimon or Tamers. If this effect didn't delete, recovery plus one and trash the top security card. Uh, alternates once per turn when this Digimon would leave the battle area by trashing your bottom security card. It d- does not leave. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Bottom security card. That's kind of interesting. Uh, and then uh, got the new Lord Nightmon Ace. Lord Nightmon Ace here. Hand, counter, blast, Digivolve. Um, when Digivolving, you may play a level 5 or lower Digimon card with the with the Nightmon in its text from your hand or trash that paint the cost. All Digimon with as much or less DP as this Digimon gain collision. <laughs> okay. Um, that's all Digimon. So it's interesting. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, of course, you have um, Ancient Sphinx Mon. You have the new Lucimon Larva, which is going to be part of the Lucimon deck. Uh, you may play on security. You may play one Lucimon from your trash without paying the cost. Um, so you want to see this in, in the security, obviously. Uh, and then you got the altern- breeding alterns. When any of your Lucimon Satan mode would leave the battle area by moving this Digimon to the battle area. They don't leave uh, all turns while you have a non-white Digimon with Lucimon in its name. None of your zero DP Digimon can be deleted. Perfect. Because he has zero DP. Uh, Of course, you have the new Tamers. You got dual Tamers. Uh, Play this card without... Paying the cost, obviously, Memory Tamer. Um, also treated as just Takuya or just Koji. Or your main phase, you may place up to one hybrid trait card with different names um, from your trash under this Tamer. For each of your other Tamers, add two to the maximum number this effect plays. So you can basically, it helps you uh, go into your, your, your high-level guy super fast. So that's really good. So basically, this is a memory tamer, so you just need a couple tamers that gain you memory at the start of your turn if your opponent has, and you can get that five memory uh, start of turn to you know go into this pretty quick because you can like add, you know, one turn you can add three, and then another turn you can add two more and then be able to use it. So I'll have to see how it makes use of that. Of course, you got new Tommy um, by trashing one card. With hybrid or uh, gain one memory, so starting your main phase, he can gain you memory to get to that five. 
Um, inheritable, trash the bottom, Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, then if your opponent has no Digimon with Digivolution cards, draw one. It's pretty, pretty cool card. And then you have Zoe. Same thing. Uh, draw one. So she's a draw engine. Or she's a memory gainer. Um, uh, when this Digimon deletes your opponent. Digimon Battle, you may play one Tamer card uh, with Inherited Effects from your hand. So that's kind of cool. That lets you play... Um, yeah. Let's you play Digimon or Tamers back in place of her, so that's good. Um, JP, you got JP here. Um, Retracting one card to your hand. Draw one, so draw the same thing. Um, when attack targets change, you may play one tamer card with inherited effects. So raids good with that. Um, you got the new uh, violet tamer for liberator. Uh, so this is gonna be for the three musketeers deck. It is a memory tamer, and by trashing one option card or one card with ghost or three musketeers trait in your hand, draw one. So it just kind of recycles your stuff um, by getting getting you through the deck faster. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we also have, what else do we have? There's lots of stuff to talk about. I'm just trying to get through as much of it as fast as we can. Um, okay, so here we have our rest of our tamers. We have uh, Koichi. He's going to be, um, by trashing one card in your hand, he's going to be the memory gainer. Um, and then he's going to have return stuff to your hand when attacking. So that's kind of good. Um, and then wind to flame, wind to flame, ice to sword. Uh, you got a couple option cards here. Not a lot of uncommon ones. You got uh, these two are going to be on the uncommons, really. Only six <coughs> options. Uh, of course, you got Satan mode. Which is going to be the big bad uh, for Lusamon. Uh, by playing one Lusamon larva from your trash. I need digital six from a chaos mode. Um, by playing one Lusamon larva from your trash to an empty breeding area. Without paying the cost. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Um, and then... End of all turns, once per turn, trash your opponent's top security card. If this effect didn't trash, uh, delete one of your opponent's Digimon and one of their Tamers. That's brutal. End of all turns, too. Um, and then the new Susana one, Ace, uh, which is going to digital from Takuya or Koji with... 10 hybrid trait cards under slash Koji. Or it's going to be a blast evolve, basically. Um, when Digivolving, when attacking, delete one of your opponent's uh, 10,000 DP or lower Digimon for each color. And this Digimon's Digimon cards add 2,000. So you add three colors, you can get up 16, which I believe would kill the uh, Satan mode, because I think Satan mode is 18. Uh, or 16, I mean. Uh, and then when attacking by placing up to five tamers uh, from this card, from this Digimon's Digivolution cards as your bottom security cards. Ooh. For each one trash, your opponent's top security card. Ooh. That's a game finishing move, and if it's not, you just set you up with all your tamers to come back on. Yeah. Just wondering if you have to blast Digivolve with the required thing, or if you can just blast Digivolve from a level six, um, which would be gnarly. Of course, the Tamers don't have the hybrid keywords, so they don't count as hybrids. Hmm. Okay, and then we have 
obviously the alt. So now we get into BT19. So we see what we get from BT19. We're getting three half the eggs. Um, we're getting the one Poyo Oman, which is for the Aqua deck we saw in Liberator. Um, so we're getting the the the, the two Aqua lines here. Um, Ryugamon, which we saw in the Liberator comic. Um, we're getting Dynasmon X Antibody as well as Lusamon X Antibody. So we can have two Lusamon options, uh, both this and X Antibody. It's going to digital for three um, level five or higher Lusamon in its name uh, when this Digimon would leave the battle area. If a card with Lusamon is in in its name is in this Digimon's digital swing cards by trashing both player's top security card, it doesn't leave. That's pretty cool. That's all turns once per turn. End of your turn once per turn, your opponent may trash their top security card. Uh, if this effect didn't trash, recovery plus one and delete one of their Digimon or Tamers. Just slow, just the slow burn. The slow burn with this guy. Um, got more fun Beamon stuff. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of support for that. Queen Beamon. Uh, and then we have we have some Dark Knight Monimon stuff, um, part of the uh, the Millennium Mon stuff, Machine Dramon and Chimera Mon, um, which we talked about in, in another video. I uh, got the new Lord Knight Mon X Antibody and the Millennium Mon stuff, which I think we've looked at um, as it comes out. Yao, you got the new Liberator for uh, Yao, which we saw again in the comic Winner. It's part of BT19. We're getting all the Royal Base stuff at the same time and the new Nene, uh, which there is like a secret Nene, which I guess we're getting next set. And then a couple more options, really. Not a lot. Not a lot. One. All. So that is it. Um, not getting a lot of cards like here. Let's, let's see here if we can figure out how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 6 or 7, 3, 8, 9, 4, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. And like 43 cards, I believe. Yeah, like 43 cards from the set. Uh, I don't count Gallimont Crimson Mode because it's a ghost rare. Um, so not we're only really getting, I guess we're getting kind of like half, I think. Not, not quite half, but a little bit less. So we'll have to wait and see anyways. But uh, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. That is our card overview. Um, lots of cool stuff coming. I just couldn't get through enough effects. Honestly, I don't want to make the video too long, but it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff to go through and uh, I want to take it one step at a time. But yeah, we will have the deck excitement list to show you what I'm thinking about building next format real soon. Uh, tell me what your guys' thoughts are about this. Uh, are we getting some good lines? Is the addition of BT19 going to add anything to the set? Or is it just kind of lackluster? Are we going to be all BT18 decks and have to wait until... Uh, BT19, the rest of it comes out to really uh, enjoy that set. Um, of course, we're gonna have to we're gonna get to enjoy BT20 uh, at the same time, really, if you think about it. But uh, let me know your guys' thoughts down below uh, about the set, about the box toppers, about everything. Um, what you guys think here? Uh, they're not adding a whole lot. We're gonna have another purple deck. We're gonna have the Moon Millennium stuff. We're gonna have the Aqua stuff. Uh, we're going to complete the Royal Base stuff. So, I mean, maybe Green's going to have a chance. This format, we'll see. Uh, and then, you know, we're going to have some other stuff here too. Um, mostly just uh, additions to the Lusamon deck. So how is the Lusamon deck going to change in our meta from how it was in the Japanese meta? But let me know what all these thoughts things you think about this down below. It looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next video. As always, have a wonderful day. And that's all for now, folks.